Um, won't be a second, Andy. 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 Okay, I think he's crashed. I'm not getting much help, but I, I need fluids. Come on, big fella, don't do this, not now. I need you back, Andy. I'm serious, Andy, come on. Okay, get me the crash trolley and prep the paddles. Come on, Andy. It's good to see you. What happened? You passed out. I thought I was a goner there for a minute. Lauren? Lauren, it's Tandy. What is it? Sorry. I'm just upset about Faye. Is that why you couldn't tell Elliot what had happened? Um, is Joseph okay? His wife's just been charged with murder, but um, he's holding it together. It's not your fault, you know. I know, but... I made the statement against Faye. I told them what I saw and heard. There's nothing wrong with that. You told the truth. Yes, but... Do you think I should retract my statement? Do you think? I don't want Faye to go to prison and... if my statement caused that... Um, we could speak to Elliot and, and see what he thinks. I don't want Joseph to know he'll think I'm lying. He will think that you are trying to help. Actually, maybe I shouldn't. The police know best. No, I don't want to. I need to keep myself busy. I'm fine. Everything okay? We're fine, apparently. Don't you know any Ellen Lapworth called Andy? Uh, He's coming to the party. What, bad teeth and moves? Oh, no, thank you. It's not that bad. Oh, all right, well, there's that junior doc in dermatology. Or oh, there's Ollie, but I mean, you can't really go there. No, I can't. Mate, we're running out of time. And blokes. Are you two always like this? No, usually we muck about and talk fellas, but tonight we're keeping a lid on it. <laughs> So, what about your bloke? Not time to get off work, just in case. <sighs> Never mind him. How's Joseph? Has he gone? Yes, I think so. Has he been okay with Nurse Minster? Yes, but if anything, it's Nurse Minster that's been behaving strangely. Meaning? I'm sure it's nothing. Okay, well, keep me in the loop. I have to inform the board about events. Okay. Mrs. Boone, what are you doing? You don't listen. I have to go. I tried to say it earlier. You can't. You are suffering from something called pulmonary edema, and you have suspected pneumonia. Your lungs are congested with fluid. I can't stay. I have plans. You have to stay. Now sit down, please. Sit down. Nurse Minster. We need cefiroxin 1.5 milligrams TDS and erythromycin 500 milligrams QDS. Look, I need to see how you react to the antibiotics before I can even consider discharging you. What is so important that it can't wait? My daughter lives in New York. She'll be ringing me very soon to wish me Happy New Year. Her and my grandson, online. It's what we do. But you can do it here on your computer. I can't have her see me in hospital. I don't, I don't want to worry her. Then send her an email saying that you've gone to bed early. I not wish my grandson a happy new year. She'd know something was wrong. Something is wrong. But I don't want her to know. Why? Oh, because she's selfish. She left me on my own. She went to live somewhere else. So... She doesn't get to be here for me now. So you want to go home ill and pretend that everything is fine? It's not because you don't want her to worry, is it? It's 
because you don't want her to care. What is it to you? You're my patient and you're about to do something stupid. Don't. You're so rude. So like her. Good. You don't seem to realize how serious this is. If the infection holds, you could end up in ITU being ventilated. And I will not let you risk your health just because you don't want your daughter to know that you are unwell. Why? Because I care. And do you know what? Maybe she does too. I will make you a deal. We'll get you on a penicillin and see if it works. If it does, then maybe we'll get you a cab. But if it doesn't, you stay. Deal? Could you have a look at bed five for me? See what's wrong with him? I need to talk to you about Mr. Hargrove. It's an aortic aneurysm. He's not old enough. I know, but he's got an aneurysm the size of a grapefruit. I should have realised from the sores on his feet that something was wrong. Are you admitting an oversight? No, no. Whoa. That's a type 2 Thoraco AAA. That livens the shift up a bit. What do you do? Left thoracotomy first, assess the aorta. We may have to extend into the abdomen. I'll do it here once a locum arrives. Don't you think moving him up to Darwin might be a better idea? Mm. CTGS crossover, my speciality. Besides, moving him now would be dangerous. What if the aneurysm ruptures? The mortality rate, if it does, is pretty high. Have you got any more eggs you'd like me to suck? Look, just deal with the patient in bed five and then you're done. Oh, and before you go... I need you to tell your man there that he'll be spending New Year's with me. I've cut Mrs. Booth a deal that she can go home with the penicillin kicks in. We'll need close also next hour. Sorry about earlier. I'm just a bit all over the place. No, that's fine. But how are we doing with OECG? What ECG? I asked you to redo her ECG. Did you? I must have missed that. Does it matter? <laughs> yes, it could do. Look, let me just get this straight. This is your first shift back since Joseph had to go to you. And you're feeling pretty vulnerable. But you have been all over the place since you got here. And now you forget to do a simple check. What's going on? I guess I'm just more affected by Joseph's accusations than I thought. What did he accuse you of again? Exactly. Why does it matter? I made a mistake, that's all. What mistake? Sorry? You just said you made a mistake. No. I mean, he did. Joseph, that's what he said. No, you just said it now. I was confused. Look, do you want me to get on with this penicillin or not? An operation? No, I just got my life back. I can't handle another setback. There's no reason in the long term why you won't get back to normal. On the short term? Well, I'm not going to lie to you. In the short term, it'll be difficult. There'll be restrictions. Well, what about Jill? She's not going to want to stick around, is she? Why not? Give her a chance. I'll do me a favour. It'll be like my ex-wife all over again. Don't you think Jill's got a mind of her own? She's not your ex-wife. Mr. Hope, about Joseph. I let Vanessa think that he was gone. All oh, right, good. Thank you. He's in my office, and I've ordered him to stay put. I've got to get back to theatre, one of Joseph's cases, so if you could keep an eye... Oh, of course. Right. Um, if we're right, if the police have got it wrong and Faye's completely innocent, then what did happen? I don't know. Dr. Green concluded it could be any number of things, transient ischemia, pericarditis, hyperkalemia. Hopefully that's what Faye's lawyer will sort out. Sorry, I need to get back. Okay. How much more of this have we got to do? It's just here at bed, too. Who the hell is that? Ms. Black, this is Greg Johns from Hobbs and Guiney. Good with women. Like to examine you? He can examine me whenever he likes. Hello, Mr. Black. When you're done, I need Mrs. Lennon's notes from AAU. If it's not too much trouble. Mm -hmm. Well, I should probably give him a hand. Strange new warden and no, that. Okay. You don't look desperate. I am desperate. What, desperate enough to ask him out while he's examining Tanya? Good point. What you need to do is a background check. Ollie, see what info he's got. Oh, Mr. Spence wanted Mrs. Leonard's notes from AU, remember? Just... Great. Uh, try and be casual. <laughs> 